So let's get into your reading. You do have the overall energies of sacrifice. And in the other tarot decks, this is considered the um, hangman card. So it's about sacrifices that you may be uh, having to you know, decide upon uh, to move on your journey, some sacrifices connected to love, maybe. Uh, but it's about you looking at your life at a different perspective. Um, and that's what I do feel the Eclipse energies may have done for you is to think about things, to really go deeply within yourself, to figure out, you know, what do I have to do to sacrifice, to, to be more aligned with spirit, to be able to follow my true pathway, to be more connected to love. And with your astrology cards, you do have Saturn. So Saturn has been with you. And uh, Saturn is all about, you know, really going deeply and understanding the sacrifices that you have been through that you need to make so that you can be more aligned, so you can be on the right pathway. And so uh, you do have Saturn in your third house, Saturn in Capricorn in your third house, and your third house is connected to communication, connecting with others, your ideas. So it does look like there has been some type of limitation imposed upon a lot of your Libras to push through on your desires. Yes, the other two astrology cards is the Aries card in the first house. And, uh, you know, they are connected. The first house, Aries is ruled by the first house. And so I do feel this is about you really thinking about your own willpower what your true desires are, what you need to do to sacrifice, to look at your life differently so that you can have the things that you really want uh, to fulfill. And so it's really about your desires now to really confront your fears, to make some decisions, uh, challenging yourself now to make some sacrifices that you feel that you need to do. So this may be a month of action, of sacrifice, of desires, of, of knowing that limitations have been imposed upon you, but it's now time to push through. So let's look at the uh, situation for the month of March for a lot of you Libras. Yes, the prince of Princess of Staves. So this is about action, your desires, your willpower. Again, this is connection to the first house of Aries, of about your own desire to push through, to put things into action, to be free to start moving now um, and you do have the fox card so the fox card is connected to the signs and symbols that are being shown to you from the universe so those eclipses may have really shaken you up to now decide about decide upon your own desires uh, and it also could be connected to your job situation what do you truly want to do are you thinking about creating some type of new desire um, and and ready to sacrifice some things so that you can really connect more to what you really want from your soul so let's see what the challenge is for you the six of stays well the challenge is just to get clear now like i said you have um uh, Saturn in um, your third house of communication, of your ideas, getting things going. And it does look like things have been cloudy. Things have not been, you know, truly understood about what you want to do, but it does look like things are getting clearer. The sun is coming out. There's sunshine. There's positivity. There's happiness. And the Six of Swords is all about success. Moving towards your desires and getting ready to feel, fulfill some type of accomplishment for you. So uh, for a lot of you Libras, it looks like something has been holding you back, maybe accomplishing some type of goal to realizing your success, to understanding the sacrifices that you have been making are going to be able to come to fruition because now it's your willpower pushing through with action and desire and not giving up on what you truly want to do and fulfill yourself from within so your foundation let's see where your foundation is you have the three of coins so the three of coins is all about working hard on your desires not giving up and knowing that you have been working hard on your foundation it does look like you really are trying to uh, succeed in something and this looks like the month all the sacrifices that you've been putting in uh, to to create some type of new vibrational energy for success it looks like things will get a lot clearer and you're going to be able to this month libra put things into action so don't give up on your desires because it does look like you have a lot of hope and faith for a new type of desire a new type of uh, journey that you want to fulfill so uh, keep on believing in the faith keep on believing uh, that you are going to be successful because really your challenge is is success your challenge is just to get over some of the the blockage that you've been feeling looking at the signs and symbols that have been showing been showing to you uh, from the universe uh, it's about action now you've got 
you know, six of stays, the princess of stays, and the sacrifice card. So, and the two cards of, of Aries in the first house, it's all about your own willpower, action, desire, challenging yourself for this destiny, this, this new beginning that you are creating. So let's look like uh, from the past here, Seven of Cups. It, yeah, there has been some blockage. Look at this here, Libra. You know, the mountain here is about obstacles and the blockage of fulfilling your wishes, dreams. The Seven of Cups is all about your wishes, your dreams, fulfilling them. But there has been some type of blockage. You know, you've been you know, wondering when your wishes are going to come true, when, when you're going to be able to fulfill them. What do you need to do to get over this mountain, this obstacle that seems to be in your way? And uh, it does look like there will be some type of clearance, uh, understanding whatever sacrifices that you have been feeling, uh, knowing that, uh, you know, spirit has been wanting you to be a little bit more cautious, uh, understand really uh, what your concerns are about pushing forward on your dreams and desires. Um, so, so far I see a lot of connections to really, uh, this is the month of, of action uh, really to your dreams, your desires. Uh, I did pull a romance angel card and romantic feelings. So we'll see if, if this comes up uh, in any of these other cards about love, but it does look like for some of you, there's going to be some type of desire for some type of new romantic feeling connected to you. And it may be, maybe that's what there has been limitations opposed upon you to be able to connect to love. Maybe that's what the sacrifice could have been, is you had to sacrifice love, sacrifice doing uh, fulfilling your heart's desire because there's something else there has been some cloudiness something else holding you back and it could have been because of your desires for work to succeed in something but it does look like um you have really thinking about all your wishes your wishes about fulfilling your love life fulfilling your business situation connecting more to your true desires so you know it does look like there's a lot of wishes a lot of things that you want to come to fruition and things um that haven't um, been easy for you uh, to fulfill. But remember, your foundation is about uh, working hard, not giving up, knowing that there is a new destiny for you. Keep up the hope and faith and knowing, you know, it's important to keep on meditating. Uh, you know, the sacrifice card is the hangman, so it's important to take time for yourself to connect to spirit, to meditate, to pray, to really feel that connection um, from the universe so that you can understand what you need to do to to be more clear to get over this obstacle to see the sun rising again for you um, but it looks like you've got a lot of action that you're wanting to put in so let's look like message from spirit look at this power this is again connection to the Aries. There may be a strong connection to an Aries lover here with the Aries, the first house. Uh, the power card is the connection to the Emperor, connection to the Aries, connection to the first house. So there's a lot of power. There's a lot of desire for you this month in March. There, there looks like something's coming around for you. And it could be a strong connection to love. Yes, look at this. You've got a strong connection to a love energy. Romantic feelings. And it does look like there's someone sitting next to you um, so it's about your power for this new desire you need to put action if you have romantic feelings for someone uh, it's time for you to commit yourself to uh, connecting with someone who you feel a lot of uh, energy of, of love with so this also could be a strong connection of you being more committed to your desires you deciding to go and a lot of these cards may be about you sacrificing so that you can start your own business start something that you've been really wanting to fulfill maybe this is what you've been working so hard on your foundation here Libra and sacrificing a lot so you can fulfill these desires these wishes and their husband obstacles their husband something that's been holding you back um, but success is here success is on its way and it's all now you being the princess of staves. Communication. The princess of staves is all about communicating your desires, putting things into action, uh, fulfilling them, moving forward, being strong, um, and uh, seeing things uh, more clearly now. So, yes, it does look like there has been some blockage in the communication department of your ideas, of, of thinking clearly, but it does look like success is still around the corner for you all. So let's look at um, uh, the near future here. Oops, dropped your card. 
the near future, what do you have here? The seven of arrows. So this is about getting through with the seven of arrows. This is the connection to your mind being more clear. Maybe there has been someone who has been like, um, holding you back from your dreams, holding you back from your desires. Maybe, you know, someone that you've been connected with, um, hasn't seen your, your wishes, haven't full, really believe in what you are wanting to do and the sacrifices that you have been uh, trying to make. But it is about the seven of arrows. You have to walk away from those who don't believe in you. You have to believe that whatever you want to create, you have the star card. Again, another card of wishes being fulfilled. It's about communication. So the seven of arrows could be a situation where, you know, someone has you know, betrayed you. Someone has, you know, did something behind your back that you have not been happy about and has uh, put this cloudiness, this, this obstacle in front of you. But it's about you walking away from that, understanding that, you know, through looking, again, this could be why Saturn has been here. Uh, he wanted you to be cautious about those who may be trying to limit you. So this is about the near future. Pay attention to the seven of arrows. Pay attention to those who may uh, want to portray you. Uh, take away um, some ideas that you've been trying to communicate. So this is about being careful about who you communicate with, what uh, you want to uh, to do because I do feel some some people out there at Libras want to steal your ideas. They want to take away uh, your desires, and so uh, the success is yours. But you do have to be careful uh, and pay attention with Saturn being there. He's going to watch over you. He's going to make sure. Uh, that you're cautious, and that could be why there's such a strong connection of, of really uh, slowing down, paying attention, understanding what the sacrifices are that you're having to do uh, to have your dreams, and uh, maybe having to look at things in a different light uh, with those around you and making sure that those that uh, you are connecting with are the right energies for you to have some type of success uh, being brought to you, uh, that they're not going to limit that um, um, and take that away from you. But you have a lot of power. Like I said, this is a month of your angels and guides are saying you've got power. You've got, you know, so much strength. It's just you're ready to meet any challenge. And it's about things happening immediately now. So I feel you're going to watch your back because, you know, the fox card is also watching your back and paying attention to those who may want to take from you. And those who don't believe in you, you need to walk away from dishon dishonest um, energies uh, because you're on your way to victory and success and that may be some cloudiness of maybe energies that you've been connecting with that may have been holding you back from really fulfilling your wishes and dreams because this is about you standing your own ground you being very successful in everything that you do uh, there's just a strong commitment of willpower for you this month and I do feel you're going to see things in a different light this month so that you can have this victory and success have this new journey that you've been waiting for so uh, let's look at uh, your your connection ten of cups look at this this does look like you're ready for peace harmony happiness joy there's some type of message being delivered to you to give you some type of happiness some type of harmony and the ten of cups is a strong connection to love here we go there seems to be a strong connection to love here for you this is the connection to you your desires what do you want to fulfill it does look like um there's a message that's going to be given to you or there's a message that you need to deliver uh, there's someone who really has a lot of romantic feelings for you and it does look like there's a strong love connection a strong powerful love connection uh, and all you have to do is communicate so yes it does look like maybe there was a time where you weren't ready to communicate your feelings weren't ready for this this new energy of love but it does look like now you're ready uh, to receive some type of uh, love connection, some type of harmony, some type of commitment to emotional happiness. So yes, now I'm looking at these cards and it really does look like you're going to have the balance of both of you finding your desires. And it's all about your own willpower. You know, you need to just put things into action for any type of success you want, whether it is in love, whether it is in uh, your creative ideas and desires. But uh, I feel this is the month for action. So let's look at your, your few other cards here. Other people's energies. Again, and ten of arrows there needs to be a clearance there needs to be an end to some type of situation like i said you've got the seven of arrows and the ten of arrows here to really 
Look at those who may be trying to betray you. Uh, some of you need to walk away from situations. Clear out. There's some type of ending for some of you uh, with a situation that you need to be very clear about. And maybe there was some cloudiness. But I feel you're getting clearer now because it's blocking you from some type of success. So I do feel this is a month that, again, you're going to have to make some sacrifices in some type of a situation uh, that has not been uh, healthy for you. But I feel it's blocking you. I feel there's something blocking you um, to be able to fulfill your desire um, and it does look like once you see the light once you realize uh, what the situation is uh, who's been betraying you uh, who has backstabbed you who do you need to release uh, to be able to have the success and victory you're going to see things a lot clearly this month and you're going to be able to communicate now open up to the truth so that you can move on 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 your journey yeah, because you have so much uh, energy here of, of, of peace and harmony and joy and love, but there does seem to be something that you need to release. You know, it could be the release of a past relationship, or, uh, you know, ending that pain and sorrow. Maybe that is something that you're worried about is connecting with someone again because you're worried about feeling pain again, um, but it's about this new beginning. That's what the eclipse energy is doing for a lot of us, letting us clear out, um, see the truth, be ready for changes. And so let's look at your hopes, wishes, and dreams. The Queen of Cups, yes. This is about emotional happiness, yes. I feel there's a, a strong connection to love, and it may be also with the water energy here, a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. But it's about you listening to your intuition, knowing now that you're ready to be emotionally fulfilled. So I feel a lot of you... Uh, Libra energies uh, are ready for some type of new commitment that's going to be positive. So I do feel this is, this is the month to really show your emotions. Share your feelings with someone that you are ready to connect with. And it does look like things are going to be really positive for you in love. And your desires and your emotions, uh, look how we end. Wisdom. Listening to your intuition, yes, it does look like you have some type of secret love affair or a secret uh, love connection with someone that you're really wanting to fulfill your desires because you also have the secret book here. So, yes, it could be a secret love affair. It could be, a, you know, wanting to connect with someone secretly that you've been having this desire, but you have been waiting patiently and you've had to sacrifice some things before you're ready. But I feel now you're receiving wisdom, listening to your intuition, your guides, showing you now that you can open up to the secret, open up to this message and give this, this love connection to someone that you've been really wanting to connect with. So, just to close this up here, uh, your major arcana cards here are this. You have the wisdom card and the power, listening to your own intuition, secrets being revealed. You've got power now for success. Challenge yourself. Put things into action. Uh, open up to any type of message that you want to deliver for some type of peace and harmony. Uh, communication is going to be important this month. Communication to those that are going to emotionally fulfill you. Communication to change things that have been in your way. Challenging yourself to end things that you know are no longer serving you. Uh, it's time for you to fulfill those wishes and get out of this blockage. Have faith and believe that all your hard work, all your sacrifices that you have put in is going to give you some type of new uh, beginning to some type of lovely journey. And it does look like things are going to get clear for you. This is about action. This is about desire. This is about love. This is about fulfillment. This is about commitment. And uh, yes, it does look like you're going to have the positivity of love and emotional happiness and desire connected with you. So what a beautiful message for uh, you at Libra Energies. So I feel this is the month for action, uh, emotional fulfillment, clear out what you need to release. I know that there has been sacrifices. Now is the time for you to you know, move forward now and to find the peace, love, and harmony that you desire.